Welcome to the world of Crasatorio. Now, thanks to a very, very well-attended vote on my dashboard, that was very, very kind of everyone to participate in that. I'm sure there's a lot of vested interests in, in the outcome of what that post was. But as a result of that post, where I gave the, my subscribers the choice of three different packages of mods, which was, first choice was Crasatorio, this one, which is the one they, we've actually gone with. The second choice was SpaceX, which I'm sure at some point in the very near future, once I get to the end of Crasatorio, I'll be getting to. And then Pyanodon. Pyanodon? Pyanodon. I don't know how to pronounce it. That was a different one. That was obviously going to be a completely different scale of challenge, and there's a little part of me that's glad that that can wait for some point in the future. Um, but for now, you all chose it. So here we are, Crasatorio 2. Now, to give you some sort of background of where I am, I've not watched any videos, I've not read any guides, I've not been to any websites. I don't know anything about Crestorio. The limit of my education is that it's considered to be Vanilla Plus. That's it. That's all I got. Nothing more than that. So this is a new experience for me. You can laugh at me struggle. Um, let's have a look at the mods because I'm sure that's something that a lot of you will care about. To be honest, I haven't got anything in here that's going to be controversial. I've got a clock. I've got flow control I'm, I'm flow control comes everywhere with me that's just part of the game hell mod jetpack obviously that's not going to come into play until way down the line anyway crasatorio or a razor just because it's not going to do any harm that be in there a tape measure time lapse water fill what is it really used for that's it that's all the mods let's have a look let's, let's get into the game itself Yep. Fine. I don't know, Cliff. We're not having any bases. This is me just exploration, trying stuff out. Well, I think that's good enough. Yep, happy. Okay, that was a lot more, that was a much bigger wreckage than this vanilla. And any big, that's the biggest wreckage I've ever seen. Let's see what we actually, oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. What we actually get out of it? A sentinel. Keeps watch. Is that a radar? For, ooh. Spawn point for your force. Each force can only have one shelter per surface. Okay. Uh, mind drill. Right, okay. Give up. Right, fine. So what have we got power-wise? Wind turbine. Cool. Ooh, there's some spicy stuff in here. Okay, uh, power. So we've got a gas power station, nuclear power. That looks vastly similar. What is quartz? Okay. We don't have any steam. Oh, we do. Okay, so there's my priority number one. Basic, we need 20 basic tech cards. Okay. Wood, copper cable. Are there other recipes for a tech card? No, okay, so we need a wood. All right, greenhouse. I need a greenhouse. I need a lot of these things. I need a lot of wood. Wood.
have I got enough? 200. Power output. I need 10 wind turbines for a single lab. 200 kilowatts. 20. You. You. Jesus. Uh, 10 of them. 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ugh, wow. These must be really early. You must get rid of these so quick. Right, so, one hour update, um, nothing, nothing has happened, um, I figured out that it takes 10 wind turbines to power a single research lab, fun times, I'm just bashing the ground, getting as much iron and copper as I can, because it's taken forever to research all the stuff that I need, I'm still aim. what I'm trying to aim for is my standard kind of vanilla approach, which is to um, go straight for the electric mining drills and try and bypass these burners because I hate the burners. So if I can try and leap my way to the electric part first and get over this burner part, then I'm, I'm, I'm a much happier bunny. So I'm still aiming, I'm going to aim for that. I might be wrong, but that's going to be my initial approach. So it might take me a little while longer. We just have to see what happens. Okay, update over. Let's get on with bashing more stuff. So, two hour update, um, we have power, we have power, we've got automated power more better than anything else, we've got some drills, and I've got some drills set up for iron and copper, so we've got the start of something now, I, can, I don't need to bash the ground so much with my fists no more, and what I want to talk about is what's the plan, what is the plan, I've got the time lapse going, Maybe I should turn it off. No, I need to capture this. What is the plan? The plan, I've got any, I've, I need to build a starter factory. That's the plan. And in that starter factory, it needs to have certain things. Um, now, I'm used to the, the recipes in vanilla, so I'm kind of already in the mindset of, well, conveyor belts and inserters. But I don't really know whether that needs to go into science, whether that's something where we need to start thinking about something completely different. So let's have a look at some science stuff. Um, maybe that will help understand where I need to go because I've got no idea at this point in time. So, hell more, here we go. Oofty, whoa, jeez. We get to crush things. Oh, okay. This is all crushing stuff. This is the one. So, stone, plastic, water, or glass, silicon. Well, I'm not any. I'm not gonna be anywhere near plastic. Okay. What was the question I wanted to answer? That was the question. How do I unlock? How do I unlock the alternate the recipes of iron? That's really where I'm getting at. What do I need? Logistic and chemical. What the hell is this? I don't know what I need. I don't know. Right. Green and blue, logistic and chemical. How do I get those? Green, fine. I can get green, I think. All of this stuff's achievable. Blue. Yeah, you might be a bit more trickier. Pants. How do you get glass? Glass comes from sand. 
Sand comes from stone. Okay, that's not too bad. Red chips. We got these components again. And sulfur comes from uh, yep. Petroleum. Alright, so we're back into vanilla type things when we get to that. <coughs> All right, okay. So, let's have a look at the um, alternate iron recipes. That's a good question. Is that the only one? That's probably the one. So, enriched iron. Bundle of chemical plants. So, how do I handle that transfer from one to the next without a proper starter factory? I'm only realistically going to be able to get this one, this one, this one, plastic, mm, not without going to oil. I'm assuming there's no alternative recipes for plastic. No. Sensible. Okay. Okay. So, at some point in time, iron production is going to need to switch over. I'm going to have to demolish a whole part of the factory, replace it with a completely different process. This one. Oh, painful. Okay. I'm just going to have to have... I'm just going to build both parts. And then just shut off. I can build this. I can get... Can I get access to chemical plants? Yep, I definitely can do that. Well, that is a better idea. What if I fed the main factory from the starter factory? And use that as the... As the as the as the impetus so if i did that i'm assuming we'd be talking about copper in the same way yep same deal sulfuric acid full shebang sulfuric acid and water sulfuric acid and water So, we are about six hours in now. It's been a bit of a slog to get here, to be honest, but I think that's just the nature of the set of mods. I mean, it is also Factorio. It's not unusual to have a heavy starting starting thing, to, heavy amount of mining, heavy amount of bashing the ground just to get going. Um, but anyway, I've got some sort of basic baseline set up for my starter buddies for the copper and the iron. Now, obviously, I've, I've only addressed the simple things at the moment, but... I am also conscious of the things that are going to be happening in the future. So I've had a delve around the, the recipe list and the future technologies that are going to be coming my way. And there's an alternate... Okay, just imagine that I'm speaking to someone who's not got any experience of Crasitorio. You know, so imagine that I'm speaking to someone just like me. You may have a lot of experience of Crasitorio, but I've got none. So I'm just going from baseline. I'm telling you how as I learn it. So um, there's a future technology that I need to get access to, um, which... I can't build around, you know, I don't really want to set up a whole load of furnaces and then get access to that next technology and then have to demolish a whole load of furnaces. So the plan at the moment is to use the iron, um, possibly the steel, maybe the 
maybe not steel. I don't really know yet. I'm still figuring things out. The iron and the copper. I'm, the plan at the moment is to use the iron and the copper as like from the starter base as a feeder for the main base to get that going so I can research the things that I need to research in order to unlock that further steel, that further iron technology, which is what I'm going to build. I'm just going to build that and then leave it where wherever it may lay and then use the starter base to feed the main factory with iron. Um... It might take a little while, it might take, but that is ultimately how I want to do it. Also, one thing I found out is that iron is about twice as expensive in Crustorio as it is in vanilla. So in, in vanilla, we use one piece of iron ore and we get one bit of iron plate. But in this, we use two bits of iron ore to get one bit of iron plate. So it kind of feels like I've done quite a lot of factory up to this point. But really, if you think about it, in, in normal vanilla terms, it's actually only half of this base, or half of what I've got in front of you. You know, if in effective output, the, the, half of this is is exactly what I would normally do in vanilla anyway. So, yeah, it's big because it needs to be big, and I think that's I think that is the nature of Crestoria. I think it's I think that's uh, it, it's going to be heavy demands on materials. I mean, I've done some expeditions around in the map, and you know these are on just normal standard settings. And there's just nothing, nothing like... I mean, I've got some patches up here which are going to come in very useful, but... You know, that's a fair amount of exploring not to find any real patches of any ore. I can imagine this being a real tricky bugger in, um... If you had biters turned on. I'm kind of glad that I'm doing it without it for the moment. Anyway. Next on the agenda is I need to start constructing the things that I need for the main base. So, conveyor belts, inserters, of assembly machines. I'm going to need... Oh, I'm going to need all of the things that I'm going to need for research as well. Whatever the, whatever research... I'm still not sure 100% which, which bits of research. I'm normally very, very clear about which research I'm going to do in my starter factory. Because that it kind of pushes my direction of, what, of the things that I need in the bait, in the fa in that factory. So... You know, I'm going to stay clear of any of the chemicals like oils and plastics and such. Uh, there was one in there for glass. I might have a look at that. Anyway, so that's next on the agenda. Um, and you might also see that I've kind of divided a portion here. This is a gap for a path. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't be me if I wasn't rooting paths around these things for me to run around. So, yeah, that's next. Next is to start building in the conveyor belts and inserts and all that stuff. Happy days. All right, then. So, we are about nine hours in now, and I'm, I'm just got the basics sorted. Let's just leave it like that. Haven't really delved into the recipes as anything complicated. I'm just concentrating on the things that I know that I'm going to need. So, what I've got here is all my inserters, or at least the inserters that I know I'm going to need. You know, the ones that I'm not going to be able to produce in the starter factory. They can get lost. I'm just producing the ones that I know I'm going to need. So we've got yellow and red, and then we've got purple and blue. So I haven't unlocked purple and blue, and I, that's going to come later down the road. But I've built it in just so that I can unlock it when I get there. We've got conveyor belts. So ye yellow conveyor belts. Again, red conveyor belts will go here once I've unlocked them. Haven't unlocked them yet. Underground belts. These will be red underground belts, yellow splitters, and then red splitters when I get there. And then over on this side of the factory, we've got assembly machines. Um, yeah, so version 1 and then version 2 when I unlock it. That's where I am. So I've got inserters, I've got conveyor belts, and I've got two basic assembly machines sorted. Now, there's an awful lot still to do. And I've got Every time I, I delve further into the recipes, I get lost a little bit. What was it I was looking at? I was looking at steel. Oh yeah, I need some steel plate. When am I gonna get steel? Oh, I need some coke for that. How do I make coke? Oh, I'll make coke by adding wood. All oh, right, so now I need my greenhouse. I definitely need the greenhouse. Well, I needed the greenhouse anyway for the green chips. But that seems like, the greenhouse seems like it's gonna be a pretty significant thing. Um, so that's what I'm researching up here. I'm still just waiting for that. 
that's probably the next thing. Um, find somewhere to put a greenhouse and build the green chips um, and have a look at some steel. That's probably the next couple things I need to look at. Yeah, let's just keep going. Another few more hours, and another big batch of progress. Where are we actually with the, with the clock? 13 and a half. It does feel like it's taken a while, but um, I think that's just the nature of me not really knowing what on earth I'm doing. There we go. Um, so we've got steel, we've got coke, we've got wood, we've got blocks, we've got sand, we've got glass. Um, and then I've got a whole lot of stuff here which none of it I've got available. Because not, I've, not, I've not unlocked any of this stuff. I've had to write down a list. Let me go on my list. So what we have is we have... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm starting in the wrong place. We need to go down one. Here we go. So we've got power poles, medium ones and long ones. Then we've got arithmetic decider combinators. Then we've got... Oh, railway signals. So chain and normal ones. I can't remember what the normal ones are. Uh, green chips, copper cables, and then up here we've got refinery, chemical plants, storage tank, storage tank, fluid, fluid wagon, valves, pipes, rail, and then landfill. Yeah, a whole lot of stuff which I've not unlocked yet, but it's definitely going to come in useful. And then another tier up here, which you've got more, slightly more useful stuff. Mining drills, crushers, what are you? Lamp, greenhouse, locomotive and wagon. Yeah, so I need engine. I still haven't got engine yet. That's on my to-do list. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start working towards science. So I've got this space up here. Because I've got these things needed all of these inputs, I've basically rooted most of the factory, most of the factory bus through here so if there's anything else I need to build then this is a good place to do it because I've got all the ingredients so I can spread further across and I can go up so I'm going to leave all of this space bank blank just for potential future development things I don't know that I need don't know and then over on this side I'm going to start building science um, I've got no idea about science yet I haven't even really looked at it to be honest but that's the next thing What follows now is that I leave the factory running for a few hours whilst I watch Arsenal play in the Champions League. <laughs> you know, I've got some big plans for this factory and the, the longer this fact, this starter base can spend building up those resources, those assembly machines, conveyor belts, etc., the better. Um, you know, I don't really want to have to wait for that. I want it to build up. I want to have lots of stores so I can just come and grab whatever I need as and when I need it. So, yeah. And Arsenal were playing, I'd, I'd, I wanted a few hours off, so that was just an easy way of doing things. Um, now, regarding those big plans, whilst I've been building this starter base, I've had two kind of opposing thoughts about the direction that I could possibly take it in. Um, and the first option that I thought was to just build something modest and small and spread the various elements of the factory out so that if I have uncover problems or I, there's a new resource that I didn't know existed, I can just route it in and I'll have space and everything will be easy, you know, no problem. Or I can do, I can just go big. I can just see how big I can take this and just have confidence in myself that one way or the other, I'm gonna solve the problems as I encounter them. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know if it's obvious which one of those I'm going to take, but I'm going to leave the, that, the, the discussion of that and the, and the reasoning and the, the end result for the next episode, because this is just, this episode just focus on the starter base. So, whew, till next time. <laughs>